new information in the murder of a Brooklyn pizzeria owner. We now have surveillance video of a man police want to question in the deadly shooting. Louis Barbati was gunned down outside his Diker Heights home Thursday. CBS 2's Christine Sloan is live in Diker Heights with more. Christine. The beloved co-owner of the famed pizzeria gunned down just outside his house here in the Diker Heights section of Brooklyn. Police are hoping this new surveillance video will help them solve the case. Take a good look. Do you know the man in this video? Here's the man police want to question in connection with Louis Barbati's murder. The unidentified man caught on video walking near the crime scene wearing a dark hoodie and shorts. At Ellen B. Spumoni Gardens, the famed pizzeria Barbati co owned, customers overwhelmed with sadness, stopping by to pay their respects at a memorial in front. I've been coming here since, my God, the early 80s. So going back many years, and um, he's always been such a presence here. And he was just someone that was practically like family. The pizzeria closed as hundreds gathered at Barbati's funeral. A lot of people came to the funeral. Well, yeah, like all the all the workers here that that uh, make the sauce and make the peaches and work in the kitchen. In the winter, Barbati, the subject of a CBS 2 News feature. You put the cheese on there. Proudly showing off his restaurant. Sources say the 61 year old was coming home from work Thursday night when he was shot dead at close range in the back steps of his house in Diker Heights. He was carrying thousands of dollars in cash, but the suspect left empty handed. I hit one of these guys. Why? I seen him just before he died. No one in the neighborhood seems to know the man in this video, but they want him caught. This man used to work at the pizzeria. What kind of guy was he? Great guy. It was family. Had two great kids, wife. And uh, sources tell us that police are working on the theory that this was a botched robbery. They also tell us the suspect was waiting for the victim right on this street and that after the murder, he fled in a car. We're live in the Diker Heights section of Brooklyn. Christine Sloan, CBS 2 News. All right, Christine, thanks very much. Well, now to a